Today we're going to do a recovery series. All you need is a small piece of clothing or towel. Are you ready? Let's check it out. We're going to get started in a classic lunge position. I'm going to explain to you as we go, so we'll get right in there. Extending forward, sitting down straight in between the legs to extend the back leg. We're working on the quadricep and the hip flexor here. Closing the ribs, and you can give it a light squeeze of that back glute to intensify the stretch. Always make sure the knee is in line with the toe, and we want to make sure that the foot is in front of the leg, so you don't want to get into a hyperextension here, sending that foot forward. From there, we're going to send our weight back into a hamstring stretch, stretching that front leg, flexing the foot long, long back and into the stretch. From here, you can play with the foot external rotation, internal rotation. It's going to give you a little bit different sensation. From there, you can drop the head. That even intensifies even more the stretch, sending it straight back into that leg. Always breathing. From there, we're going to send it forward into a long lunge. Send the arms forward. Turning out the leg, still knee pointing over the toes and up on the back toes to extend that back leg. It's going to add a little bit of weight into the stretch and you're going to get into that top glute. So we're going for a glute stretch and a quadricep and hip flexor stretch. Nice and long through there. Breathing. And from there we're going to extend the leg back into a hamstring stretch, this time standing. So long through the back leg from here placing long spine, making sure that the hips are not shifting. So you want to keep that nice and square. Flexing through the front foot and dropping that head down for a nice deep stretch. Again, you can roll that ankle around. You're going to get a different angle on the hamstring. From there, we're all set to get into our split position, the favorite. So making sure that the hips are square, we're going to simultaneously work the hamstring in the front and the quadricep in the back. If you need support, don't hesitate to grab something on the side to keep your weight nice and tall and through the center. Yem is now levitating, but it's good to have a yoga block to keep yourself there. Always breathing, centered, and in control. Very good. You're going to follow us over to the other side. So left leg forward. Once again, reminding everything in line, sitting straight down between the legs. You can intensify by squeezing that glute and long through that body, always breathing. Very good. Sending it back to a hamstring stretch. Listening to the body. It can be different from side to side. Uh, you can play with the foot again, dropping through the head. And long, long hamstring stretch. From there, sending the weight forward, long lunge, turning out the leg, still aligned with the toe, sending the arms forward and straight, back leg up, and we have the glutes and the back leg elongated in the hip flexor and quadricep. Nice long lunge, breathing into that stretch. Last hamstring stretch, popping the hips up, legs straight, Square hips, ribs closed, head is coming down, flexing the foot, and allowing yourself to find your optimum stretch in this position. From there, have control on either side, sliding into our left leg split, keeping the hips perfectly square while grabbing the hamstring and the quadricep. Chest nice and tall and in control. It's our right and left side. Now we're going to prep to get into our straddle. So sending the legs off to the side. Nice and even, sitting tall on your sits bones. We're going to head over to the side first. So bringing the arm up over, keeping the ribs closed and trying to keep both sits bones on the floor from here. Now you can vary by bringing the chest down toward the floor. You're gonna get a different angle on that side body. And rotating upward, chest to the ceiling. And of course, always breathing. From there, send the body long, up and over to the other side. 
closing the ribs, sits bones on the floor, and playing with that side body to make sure you're getting the full stretch. And reach up, rotate, breathing into that side body, and sending the body long to prepare to come down to the center. Take your time, we're going for the inner thighs. Walk those hands forward. Breathing. And long. On the exhale, see if you can get a little bit further. So inhale, give trust to your body. Exhale, and bring it a little bit further. Very good. Slowly walk your way back up. That's our lower body for today. We're gonna grab our small towel or piece of clothing get into the upper body from here. You're gonna start conservative and take care of your shoulders. Start a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. And from there, we're gonna rotate the arms back. If there's a part that's sticky, come back, reset the hand and start over again. Getting into that deep stretch. From there, I'm gonna rotate my wrists. I'm gonna get into the forearms, sending the arms long, and complete that full circle, getting the shoulders completely warmed up and into the rotator cuff. Very good. If you want to give it a challenge, you just start walking the hands in closer together, narrowing your grip. So again, sending it back. The moment that you get your maximum stretch, give it a hold, rotate the wrist, sending it back, complete the circle, and bring it back and around. Very good, that's all the shoulder in there. Now we're gonna send it behind. One arm up, one arm down. Very good. We're gonna get into the tricep first by pulling down on your piece of clothing and extending tall into that top tricep. That's it. From there, you can wiggle your hands together. See if you can get those fingers to touch. <laughs> yes. And release. Slowly, slowly. And try it over on the other side. Grabbing. First getting into the triceps. Long into that side body. Extend. Staying inside your ribs. There you are. Breathing, of course. Walk the hands up close together. Okay, from there, slowly release. We can get rid of our piece of clothing there, shake out the shoulders, get yourself turned around, and we'll get into the, the neck. So from there, taking one hand underneath your ankle as like an anchor. Your free arm, you're gonna reach up and over, grabbing the top of the head over to the ear, and slightly apply some weight to that side. Breathing into that side neck, into your trapezius muscles. From there, we can do a, a variation by looking down. Breathing, stretching. And also looking up. Targeting different muscles on that neck. Back to center. Slowly recover. And over to the other side. So set yourself up. We're gonna anchor under that ankle. Free arm up and over. Lightly apply weight to the head, sending it long. On this side, I'm gonna add a little variation to intensify. You can release that hand, send it far, and flex at the wrist. You can turn the doorknob again. You get all kinds of different things here. And turn the head down, reaching long. You can play with the angle of the arm as well. And looking up. Always bring yourself back to center first and release. And that'll do it for our recovery series. Make sure you take your time, breathe, and see you next time. Proper hydration does more than just relieve your thirst. It has many benefits to your health and aids your fitness goals. Water regulates your internal body temperature, which rises during performance. It is the main component of your blood which gives your cells the oxygen and nutrients it needs while carrying waste out of the body and helps the body recover 
by keeping all bodily functions running with ease. An easy way to check your hydration level is to check the color of your urine. The lighter and more transparent, the better. All right, guys, what do you think of this workout? Not bad, huh? Remember, you don't have to be a Cirque du Soleil artist for this workout to benefit you. Stick with it, you won't be sorry. If you loved this video, like it, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. Have a look over here to see what Cirque It Out video you want to work out to next. And don't forget to subscribe right here and ring the bell so you'll get notified when we upload new videos. Never seen a Cirque du Soleil show or want to see another? You can get tickets right here.